Do you have more than one camera? <laughs> The reason I collect trumpets is to have different colors that I can use. Some of them may be so minutely different that an average audience person might not be able to pick it up. But conductors usually can, my colleagues can. Here, there's a little more direction in the sound, it's a little more present. Like most everybody, I start on a B-flat trumpet, and now I have a couple of dozen, I'd say, horns at least. We, are, of course, were one of the very first instruments, going all the way back to the conch shell. People wanted to eat the critter inside and couldn't get him out of the shell, broke the end off, filled their mouth with smoke, and blew it into the conch shell. And when that happened, you get a nice kind of resonant sound that comes out of the conch shell. Time for dinner, you know. And from there on, you can make trumpets out of all kinds of things. Bone, animal horns. There's also trumpets even back in the Egyptian period. And we started putting valves on them in the early 1800s. And eventually, we find ourselves where we are today. I have a good friend of mine that plays up in Minnesota that usually has about a hundred horns. So I can excuse myself and say that I don't have a problem, I just have a lot of trumpets. <laughs>